Hey guys, before we get into the video, did you know that I stream on Twitch every week? Doing a lot of card unboxing, we did a Digimon, and then me and Jarvis just did a first edition Pokemon box. So, it's just twitch.tv slash CurtisConnor. It's a lot of fun. If that's your thing, then check it out. If not, enjoy the video. Folks! I know you guys have been pretty upset with me because I stopped doing my, uh, my usual intro. I've been doing it for years and then I just kind of stopped. And you guys are mad at me understandably so so i thought you know what i was in the wrong okay so i'm gonna bring it back hey sisters guys i'm not feeling very motivated i don't want to do anything i don't even want to film this freaking video if only there were people out there who stood on stages and yelled a bunch of vague vapid generalized nonsense in my face but no one would be crazy enough to do that right point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear and all of that is right here on stage why are you scared in your everything you see you didn't have to take no motivational speakers you've heard of them but what are they really is this a motivational speaker you can do it man yes Technically it is, but that's not what the video is about, obviously. I wanna talk about motivational speakers in general uh, before we get into the main event, because that whole profession is just so fascinating to me. Like the thought of someone getting on stage and being like, you can do it. Thank you, that'll be $800. It's so fucking crazy to me, man. And before you say it, I know. I go up on stage and I talk about my dick and balls for an hour, but my tickets are only like 40 bucks, so it's fine. If you're watching this video and a motivational speaker has actually helped you like improve your life, become more confident or something. Cool. That's great. I'm proud of you. But most of the time, these motivational speakers are just saying the most generic shit in the world and charging hundreds of dollars for it. And it's just so funny to me. Like I love comparing motivational speaking to stand up comedy because there's a lot of similarities. There's crowd work, jokes, way too many white guys. The main difference is like comedians usually have like the handheld mic, but the, the motivational speakers, man, they got the fucking... Britney Spears microphone, dude. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. Ooh, actually, I gotta start using a gamer headset <laughs> as a microphone when I'm doing stand-up, dude. Holy fuck. So I said, babe, uh, that's not very pog of you. <laughs> but no, it's funny to compare motivational speaking to stand-up because like with stand-up, there's like a pretty clear path, like a clear progression. You know, you start doing some open mics in your city and then maybe you know, once you get out there a bunch, you start getting booked on some shows and keep at it, you get better. Maybe an opportunity opens up, a showcase, maybe a, an audition for like a cool show or something. Like that makes sense, but how do you become a motivational speaker, right? Are there motivational speaker open mics at dingy bars that I'm not aware of? Because if there are, please fucking tell me and I will go to every single one of them. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks everybody for coming. Give it up for your host. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, if you don't right, mind, man. this is, uh, I just got some new material to work out, so, uh, bear with me. <laughs> I, I believe, I believe in you guys. I, I think you guys could do it, okay? And I'm gonna change someone's life today. Uh, s sir, what do you, what do you do for a living? Oh, come on, man, Le leave me out of this. <laughs> come on. You're just gonna, you're just gonna roast me or something. No. Come on, man, go, no, go to sir, the next I'm guy. A, I'm a motivational <laughs> speaker. This is... <laughs> this why are you all laughing i love this this is really fun are we having a lot of fun guys i'm a motivational fun, huh? speaker guys i'm motivating you i want i'm, I'm here to uplift you i'm here to make you feel better about yourself i don't want you to be laughing genius genius you're a genius can i just do my speech then if you guys are just gonna keep laughing this fucking guy. i believe in i believe in you guys wow hey lauren you know that new sound you've been looking for? You guys can do it. Listen to this. If you set your mind on it, I think I, I think you can achieve the goals. You can pass the finish line. First place. Is that how it happened? I feel like there's a lot of overlap with entrepreneurs and motivational speakers. Every entrepreneur is a motivational speaker and vice versa. And I think that's because a lot of these entrepreneurs are so disconnected from the real world that they think anybody can do what they did if they just like put in the work or 
not making excuses, you know, all that generic shit. But I think the perfect example of this is someone like Grant Cardone. He's a business boy and he does a lot of like motivational seminars that are supposed to like help your mindset and also help your business. Also, Grant Cardone's last name is what a mechanic says uh, when he's done a long day of work. Cardone, let's listen to this snippet of, uh, of one of his speeches. I've called on people I didn't want to be with. I've done things I didn't want to do, okay? It is not about doing what you love. It's about doing whatever it takes to make your dreams a reality, to be closed and stay closed. First off, music's way too fucking loud. It isn't about what makes you happy. But seriously though, what did he say there? What did Grant really say there? Nothing, he didn't say a fucking thing. And look at how expensive it is to see him live. $2,500, and that's the cheapest option. Uh. Uh. Again, if these people help you out, congrats. I have a lot of questions, but at the end of the day, I'm happy for you. But to me, a lot of these motivational speakers are just con men preying on the emotionally vulnerable, which brings us to today's topic. I was scrolling through TikTok as one does uh, when I stumbled upon a video from this guy named Owen Cook. So let's watch that. Come to the front for a sec, come to the front. I just want you to, I want everybody to be able to see you clearly. Come to the front. Yeah. yeah the loud, loud. The reason I brought you here is I want you to share loud. Hey. Eh, eh, eh. Say hi. Hi. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? How's he sound? Good. 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 Well, that's it. Oh, I thought there'd be more. Cause what the fuck? <laughs> Watch him get fixed. That's what my dog's vet said after cutting his balls off. My dog's balls. <laughs> Not. He didn't say my. <laughs> The vet didn't say, watch him get fixed, and then cut his own balls off. Uh, back to the video. Hey. That guy just said words louder. Uh. That's the that's the solution, huh? That's that's what fixes all your problems. Lose your job, no big deal. Hey. Wife divorce you, easy. Hey. Got yelled at by the librarian because you're yelling too much in the library. Hey. Shh. Fuck. Sorry. So obviously when I saw this video, I went straight to his profile to see what else he has going on. And folks, it's a fucking gold mine. So this Owen Cook fella, he goes around and does these motivational shows where he'll bring people up on stage with them and he'll try to like alpha -tize them. He'll try to fix all their problems with an alpha mindset and he'll turn all these beta cucks into these alpha fucks, oh, it's yeah. kind of amazing. So I thought we'd go through his content today and uh, see if we could learn anything. The one thing he's doing differently from the Grant Cardones of the world is his tour is actually free. I mean, like nothing's really free. So I there's gotta be some sort of catch. He probably sells like CDs there, <laughs> but the website says it's free. Still a little too expensive for what he's giving, but you know, to each their own. But also it's pretty cool. If we take a look at his website, it says his tour is a can't miss event. Is there a Mr. Event? Yes, there is Curtis. I swear to God, like clockwork. Every time you see these like self-help gurus, motivational speakers, these alpha males, they can't fucking spell. Spell check, dude, that's for fucking betas, bro. B-A-Y-T-U-H. Beta. <laughs> but anyways, Owen's style of motivation is very different uh, from his peers. He takes a very interesting angle. So let's let's take a look at it. Okay, pop over. So he's looking at the ground already. He's ten Can you see how tense he looks right now? Say hello to the audience. Hello. Okay, so his voice can't project. And by the way, I hate to say it, you guys, to, it, you guys just insulted him, by the way. Oh. You wanna know why? You literally, do you wanna know my greatest fear of being in a wheelchair? Not the wheelchair. I'm not afraid of a wheelchair. You know what scares me? Everybody's gonna be too nice. Okay, I uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know where to begin. First thing, pretty crazy to insult someone for not being able to make their voice project when you're talking into a microphone, sir. Okay, so his voice can't project. Of course he isn't talking as loud as you, man. <laughs> Bit of an unfair advantage. That's like standing on stilts and fucking making fun of everybody for being short. And then this next thing he says, people cheer for this guy to be nice and like supportive for, you know, having the courage to go up. And by the way, I hate to say it. And he says that they're insulting him. You guys just insulted him, by the way. Not true. If people applauding and cheering for you is an insult, oh man, I, I'm constantly bullied. But then after that, he takes a pretty sharp turn and goes on to say that the worst part about being in a wheelchair 
is people being too nice to you. Everybody's gonna be too nice. And I think I'm gonna push back on that a little bit just because of how inaccessible the fucking world is for people in wheelchairs, you know what I mean? Say if someone in a wheelchair couldn't get into their, their dentist's office because there's no wheelchair ramp, like it's not wheelchair accessible. I highly doubt the first thing they're saying is like, well, at least this isn't someone being nice to me. Man, what a fucking weird take, bro. Like this is a thing about motivational speakers they'll say the craziest shit and then just keep talking. Like they didn't even say it. Like, no, go back. Please explain yourself. But anyways, a lot of his TikToks are just like little clips that he pulled from a 54 minute video on his YouTube channel of this entire seminar. And I unfortunately watched the entire thing. And I just wanna show you guys some of the highlights of that seminar because when I was done watching it, I had to wipe dust off of my chin because my jaw was on the floor the whole damn time. So I made a little montage just to show you uh, what the vibes were like at this seminar. If I'm speaking to you like this right now, and I'm speaking to you like this right now, and I'm speaking to you like this right now, if I'm speaking to you like this right now, and I'm speaking what to you like this right now. Why'd the human cross the road? Because his dick was caught in the chicken. Yes. If I'm speaking to you like this right now, and I'm speaking to you like this right now, they can't even hear you. I'm speaking like this right now. Because his dick right now. was caught in the chicken. Be a man. Figure it out. You ever have a friend your age die? No. Soon you will, if you're lucky. I took a few lines out of context for the sake of comedy, obviously, but I promise you, even with context, it makes no sense. It honestly might make less sense with context. You can probably tell so far, Owen's method is a little unique. It's a little crazy. Instead of inspiring people with uh, positive affirmations and good advice, he goes the entirely opposite way and just insults them. Straight up bullying people <laughs> and calling it a motivational speech. And you know what? Call me crazy. I don't think that's the best method to motivate people. Like this poor guy who, may I add, he said he's been watching Owen for five years. How long have you known about me? About five years. And he's still having problems, which, you know, kind of makes you think that the things that he's teaching don't fucking do anything. That's just a theory. A GAME THEORY! But this poor guy, man, he goes to a seminar so he can learn tips on how to become more confident because maybe he has a lot of people in his life who put him down. And when he gets to the seminar to avoid all the bullies in his life, he gets bullied by this fucking... Lumberjack ass. You go to a motivational speaker to make you feel better. Owen's doing the opposite, man. That's like if you went to go see a doctor because you have a broken leg, but instead of the doctor fixing your broken leg, he just breaks your other leg too. And then you're in a wheelchair and people are gonna be too nice to you. Ugh. I've compiled a few clips of him just bullying. So uh, let's watch. The type of person you'll never meet, never meet, ever. Because you're just a little three, a little three. And not only are you three, but you're here to get help. And instead of getting help, you got laughed at by a woman and laughed at by the entire crowd. And then a bunch of people even quieter and more derpy looking than you are gonna form in a group. Yeah, you're about to say something I can tell? No, okay, of course. So, um, okay. When I do that, by the way, what I'm doing is teaching. It's, fuck it's hard to watch, man. And also that, f that last clip is so fucking crazy, man. What I'm doing is teaching. You know, when I do that, I'm teaching. You know, I'm teaching, you know that? You know, you guys know that, right? I'm teaching, I'm being a good guy. Because you're just a little three. You know when I pantsed him and then gave him a swirly and stole all his lunch money, then stuffed him into a locker and then threw the locker into the ocean? It's a life lesson. You're just bullying them, man. And the last time I checked, that's not what teachers do. All right, class, can anybody tell me what five times six is? Uh, uh, yes, you. I think it's 25. <laughs> 25, you said? With a question on the board there? Fuck, good job, man. R yeah, good answer. Holy shit. Class, Albert Einstein's here. Albert Einstein's here in the fucking classroom. Holy shit. Huge fan. Can I get your autograph? Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, it's 30. Sorry, I got 30. No, 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 no. If Albert Einstein says five times six is 25, I guess it is. Inventing new math over here. Fuck, man. I thought you died. I thought you died. I thought you, I fucking straight up thought you died. But look at you, Albert Einstein, in my class. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Okay, you don't have to be so mean. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Nobody even asked you what five times six is. What? You literally asked me. I asked the class. I asked the class. I didn't ask you. I'm in the class. Fuck you, man. That was a low blow. What the fuck? 
You're ugly. I look exactly like you. <gasps> you see, that's ridiculous. To me, it seems like, <laughs> like when Owen was a kid, he would get bullied by someone and every time the bully would be like, oh, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. So he, that's what he thinks teaching is. <laughs> but hey, Owen is a self-proclaimed alpha male, so we have to listen to him. Let's see what else this alpha male has to say. Just never be a beta. Just never, ever do it. It is death. Never, ever, ever do it, okay? Okay, the only thing good is if you're like in jail and you're about to get shot, you're like, okay, okay, you know? Other than that, if you're in a free society, don't do it. It just, it's just, it just doesn't happen. It cannot happen. And by the way, the sooner you accept this, the easier your life gets. You're like, oh, life is actually awesome when you accept it. As long as you don't accept it and you're like, I just want someone to like me for the real beta me, your life's gonna be freaking miserable. People around you will be miserable and you will be miserable. So just get over it. Okay, it doesn't mean to walk around paranoid. An alpha male is comfortable with themselves. The number one trait of an alpha is their is self comfort. So just be comfortable with yourself. Stop being uncomfortable with yourself and hiding. Bro, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Oh, this shit pisses me off, man. The only time you're allowed to be a beta male is if you're about to get shot in prison. Okay, if I'm about to get shot in prison, I will be anything that will make me not get shot in prison, right? If I was in prison and some, and some guy was like, be a parent, here I go. <laughs> this obsession with like being like a type of male, like categorizing, it's so fucking weird, man. This is my impression of, of Owen Cook seeing a, a beta fish. Oh, could you? Thank fucking God he isn't actually charging money for this because wow. And I, I fucking, I really feel for the audience, man. If you are going to this, you are in a bad spot. If this is what you need to help you out, you've tried everything else. And I'm sorry you're going through that, but it's so crazy to think that someone watched him say all this and they're like, eh, it's, it's true. <laughs> when the real reaction should just be. Okay, it doesn't mean to walk around paranoid. An alpha male is comfortable with themselves. The number one trait of an alpha is their is self-comfort. So just be comfortable with yourself. Stop being uncomfortable with yourself and hiding. What? what? And hey man, I'm sorry, but you can't call yourself an alpha male when you're dressed like that. <laughs> sorry, but he's dressed like a fucking Zoomies manager. What's going through your head when you put that fit on? So top half I'm thinking craft beer enthusiast and the bottom half of me, Let's go seventh grader. Hey, maybe I'm wrong about all this. Maybe he has a super alpha male and I just can't tell. He's getting feedback, right? Now, why am I so motivated? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I know the entire concept of alpha and beta males is not true and it's so fucking stupid when people believe that, but it is so funny to see someone who calls himself an alpha male swing their feet back and forth like they're a toddler eating Cheerios. You always have to be an alpha male. An alpha male is the strongest, toughest, most masculine man in the room at all times. Unlike you, you're ugly and short and stinky and you're never gonna accomplish anything unless you're about to get shot in prison. I am the alpha, I am the strong one, I'm tough, I'm gonna live forever, you're not. Uh, I want to watch Paw Patrol. Okay, I think you guys get it. <laughs> That's all we'll look at uh, in today's video. I hope you learned something today. I know I did. I think the main takeaway from this video, the main message that I want to get across is you don't need a motivational speaker to make your life better. You don't need them. And you know what? Motivation, like, what is it, man? What even is it? It's a social construct, okay? Motivation is a social construct and we need to reject it. We've all been fed lies that being motivated and driven are good qualities. No. <laughs> Motivation is nothing but a byproduct of the industrial revolution. And we shouldn't be engaging in it. It's poison. Can't find a job? Good. Give up. You're a beta male? Awesome. You're a beta fish? Hey. Do not be motivated, okay? Even me motivating you to not be motivated is bad. And you so you should do the opposite of what I'm saying. So be motivated. But at the same time... Dumb. Why motivate when you can motive nine? Nice. Uh, now let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Sleeper Fantasy Sports. They've been around forever, right? They're a lot of fun, but they're usually done on super old platforms that don't make any sense. They're intimidating. They're confusing. Just bleh. Luckily, Sleeper is here to solve that problem. Folks, if you've never heard of Sleeper before, it's time to wake up. Sleeper is the best app to host your fantasy football, basketball, and esports leagues. And Sleeper delivers an innovative, seamless, and clean mobile experience. So clean you could eat off of it. Don't, but you could. And oh yeah, did I mention it's completely free? because it is. And unlike older, boring fantasy platforms, 
Sleeper has personality. It has interactive features like text and voice chat built right into the app. So you don't have to leave the app, go to your group chat to talk smack to your friends about how much better your team is doing. You can do it all within the app and it comes with no ads. Isn't that amazing? Ads suck, except for this one. Sleeper's mission is to connect people over sports. And I think that's great. I love that. And look, I know my audience. I know some of you may not be into traditional sports. I get it. But I know that I got a bunch of epic gamers who watch my channel, okay? And that's why I think it's so cool that Sleeper includes esports into their platform. And hey, that's probably why millions of players have made the switch over to Sleeper. I mean, it is the fastest growing fantasy platform after all. Folks, there's just no better option out there. They've got a super easy to use design, a brand new matchmaking feature to help people interested in playing to find a league that fits their needs. And oh yeah, everything is entirely free. So what are you waiting for? Even if you've never given fantasy sports a try, now's the perfect time to give it a go. So click the link in my description, download Sleeper on the App Store or Google Play. Find out why millions of people have made the switch over to Sleeper for their fantasy sports fix. And obviously it helps me out a bunch when you check out the sponsors. So everybody wins here, man. We're all winners, unlike in sports. All right. Uh, thank you so much to Sleeper for sponsoring this video. Appreciate you. Hope you guys check them out. Back to me. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you feel motivated and inspired. You can like the video if you want because one like equals one beta fish that I will turn into an alpha fish. You can leave a comment if you want. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if, if you've ever been to a motivational seminar and let, and let me know if it helped you in any way. I'm very curious. And you can press the subscribe button if you want because uh, I make videos all the time. And as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtistown. If you didn't know, Curtistown is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor, so you have to be nice to me. It's the law. Um, and you can check the description for the other things I do. I have a weekly podcast called Very Really Good. I'm doing bonus episodes on the, on my Patreon there now. My Twitch, I'm doing a lot of uh, card openings on there now. It's a lot of fun. My gaming channel, you know, my Instagram, my Twitter, all that bullshit is right down there in the description. All right, that's it. I would stick around, but I unfortunately have to go. I have to go teach someone a lesson, if you know what I mean. See ya. Hey. <laughs>